through some specific yeah, antioxidant vitamins and other substances that are anti antioxidants and explain to everyone what those individually do. And okay, what they let, mean let's to start us. with the carotenoids and the vitamin C group. Carotenoids. Carotenoids. That's a big word. Sounds like carrots, yeah. Carotenoids and the vitamin C group. Okay. The carotenoids are a form of vitamin A. Our body takes these carotenoids, transforms it into vitamin A as we need it. Okay. Oh, so it's not vitamin A. It's a different that's substance right. that's converted precursor. into it's vitamin a, a. Okay. Uh, these carotenoids are found in carrots, red and yellow peppers. Pay attention to what food source, because I'm going to ask you a question about something in common here. It's easy to spot. Uh, uh, carrots, red and yellow bell peppers, apricots, cantaloupes. This substance, this type of substance, this carotenoids, mm -hmm. promote normal vision, helps to fight infection, prevents cancer, and helps with healthy cell repair and division. There are over 500 different carotenoids found in nature. 500, that's 500. that complexity, the symphony mm -hmm. of nutrients in mm -hmm. food sources, and whole food sources. So folks, let me ask you, if I synthesize one of those 500 and it doesn't quite pan out in studies in preventing disease, do you see mm. the flaw, the fundamental flaw? It, it, a tuba does not a symphony make. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not falling for it, and I know you guys aren't either. How about your vitamin C group? These are flavonoids found in oranges, strawberries, tomatoes, and various greens. That helps to initiate antibody production and fight infection, promotes gum health, keeps our arteries soft and pliable. That's atherosclerosis. It prevents hardening of the arteries, mm -hmm. forms collagen and connective tissue. Now, in the carotenoid and vitamin C group, those foods we mentioned, what's the commonality? What do they all have? They have a bright color, don't they? So if you're picking out brightly colored fruits and vegetables and you have a mosaic of color on your salad plate, you're fulfilling your carotenoid and vitamin C requirements. It's just that simple. You're getting that symphony of nutrients. Then we go to vitamin E. Vitamin E is a, a profoundly strong antioxidant. It's found in things like nuts. Almonds, walnuts, abundant vitamin E, hazelnuts, seeds, peanut butter even has it in it. Wheat germ helps to prevent the breakdown of cholesterol into its components that can be toxic to us. And it shields us from certain types of cancers. Vitamin E's, whole grains, that's how you get it, whole foods. Magnesium, very important mineral and things like spinach. One of the reasons the spinach protects from skin cancer is the antioxidant promoting magnesium. Lycopene, that's found in tomatoes and carotenoids. Selenium, garlic, asparagus and grains. Zinc, these are all critical. And so that wide variety of foods provides this in that complex nature that really does fight disease, okay? Let's name just a few classic high antioxidant foods. Can you think of some right off the top? Some oh, of I, your favorites. I like to just, when I want to say, hey, I'm gonna, I need some more antioxidants yeah. in my diet, right. I think immediately of color. I like oh, berries, berries, the blackberries, raspberries. Perfect. The Perfect. deeper the color, the, the richer higher the antioxidant, the antioxidant level. Berries are very good. Mm -hmm. The broccoli, the tomatoes we mentioned, red grapes. Now, white grapes have antioxidants, but the deeper the color, the more the antioxidant. That's mm -hmm. really the message of today. So white grapes are good, but red grapes are even better. Right. Garlic and onion, spinach. Now, spinach has that deep green, but it's, it's really an illustrious green. If it's colorful, it's good for you. Tea. Tea has more antioxidants mm -hmm. than green coffee. Green tea especially. Carrots. Oh, boy. Nothing better than some carrot juice. Soybeans, sweet potatoes, that, that deep orange bright orange color, mm -hmm. that's your clue. Whole grains, and don't forget your spices. Oregano has 40 sometimes the antioxidant level of apples. Mm -hmm. So your spices count in this, absolutely. Right. Coronary artery right. disease, cancer, macular degeneration, Alzheimer's disease, arthritis, the autoimmune diseases, liver problems, you name the disease, folks. Low antioxidant levels promote these diseases. And you lessen your risk, including skin cancer, as we mm -hmm. found today. Isn't that amazing? Now. I think we've made the point very clearly today that your whole foods diet is your primary source of antioxidants. But you know what, Cindy? I live in the real world, the same world that our viewers do, and there are days when we just don't eat right. Mm -hmm. We're too busy, uh, we're behind schedule, we have to eat some fast food here, there, and the other. And so you need a supplemental source to be sure that you have that peak level of antioxidants. And today, you know, we have four different multiple vitamin blends in mm -hmm. our bioinnovations. And if you really want that natural boost of 
antioxidants, I would go with the berry blend multiple vitamin. Mm -hmm. And trust us, folks, our vitamins are natural source. We extract our nutrients from food sources, organic sources. Mm -hmm. So you don't, you don't have those concerns with non-organic. That berry blend, is it two or three servings of berries? It's ber three. three. Three servings, servings of, of berries. Of, ber of fruit every, in every, yeah. every dose. Amazing? Actually, I think it tastes the best. I like the berry. Yeah. Put it in some soy milk or rice milk. Sure. Shake it up, and it's good. Yeah. Orange juice. Yeah. So you get that full mm -hmm. dose of your antioxidants mm -hmm. in the berry blend. Great for vision, great for cardiovascular health, great for everything. Mm -hmm. uh, other ways to add more is to, of course, take more vitamin C. You can take more beta carotene, a little extra E, a little zinc, selenium, magnesium. All those nutrients are in the multiple, so you're doing that just fine. Mm -hmm. So, you know, th this antioxidant, although it's, it's some chemistry there, folks, if we just think about it as metabolic byproducts, that damage us, and if we can pass that hot potato around, put a little paint on the ship so it doesn't rust, so that mm -hmm. ship can sail for many decades to come. Mm -hmm. You really have the essence of the chemistry behind it. And then when we go to our foods, just think about brightly colored fruits and vegetables, create a mosaic of color, and when we're talking about grains, it needs to be a whole grain. Okay. Then you're gonna meet your needs. And then you're going to be fine with this whole concept. Add a little extra supplemental antioxidants. Get the, that berry blend is a great source. Getting on the auto ship program well, there you allows go. you to save shipping. You mm -hmm. know, I take my vitamins every day, and I do it month after month. I don't, I, see, I don't like running out and think, well, I have to go to the store. I have to order. I want it there. I want it to come to me. So that's how the auto ship came around. Plus, you save on shipping. Mm -hmm. All right. Good I think plan. we covered that pretty good, don't mm -hmm. you think? Yeah. All right, folks. We have a break. When we return, let's take a call.